What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Aviators. Ugh, got a cold. Got back from uh, my trip and feel crappy. But uh, that's not going to stop a good day because uh, my personality flaw reared its big ugly head and I ended up with two new Avidyne IFD 440s to replace the 430s in the Cessna. So I know this seems weird because I just did this huge install and, and all that and um, I had the 430s and so that's why I installed them but I was thinking about 650s, the GTN 650s and I just, you know, I flew behind them and this is not a Garmin Avidyne thing, anything like that. I mean, Garmin makes a great product. I stuffed my plane full of it, so, you know. Um, but <clears throat> I really didn't like flying behind the 650. I don't like the touch screen on it. And so when I was at the AOPA show, I uh, was talking to the Avidyne dealer, and he just gave me a ripping deal on on the 440s, and, and they do so much more, and I just couldn't help it. I, I went ahead and did it. They uh, gave me a lot for uh, trade for my 430s, so I'll send those back to the dealer. And um, But anyways, here they are. Okay, now you'll hear angels sing. Grab this. There it is. So here's what's in the plane. Uh, here are the uh, 430s. And they will be replaced by the 440s. So this install is supposed to be pretty easy. I'm supposed to be able to just pull out the 430s, slap in the 440s. Um, those 430s that I have, they're not WAS, so I have to change the WAS antennas, um, which I'm not going to do today. I'm going to slide these in and configure them and uh, pull the headliner, but I'm kind of feeling crappy, so I don't really feel like getting all up there and all that stuff in the... In the ceiling of the plane but uh, the WAS antenna should be here tomorrow and so um, you know I'll get it ready and uh, actually do the the WAS antenna shop uh, swap tomorrow but it's cool I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, seeing what these things will do so here's a side-by-side uh, -side comparison of the IFD 440 on the right and the uh, 430, just the standard Garmin 430 on the left. You can see the screen's probably an inch bigger. Um, pretty cool. And voila, number one installed. Now these have to be configured, so I, this morning when I fired up these 430s, I took all pictures of all the configuration pages, and I'll configure the IFD the same as the Garmin, and um, uh, you'll be with me when I fire them up. All right, so now both Abidines are in, and they look very cool. So what I'm supposed to do is take this little USB, plug it in, turn the master avionics on, and uh, the database should upload into the uh, the new unit, the uh, nav and train databases. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and uh, you guys can watch. So we'll put this right in here. And pretty, pretty, pretty. So the app that I should like, uh, you know, automatically sense that, uh, see that USB and uh, automatically go and grab the uh... okay so it's saying nav cycle so hit enter okay select all and okay so now the nav data is updating I'm going to repeat this process on uh, um, on the other radio and then we'll see uh, see how she works. Okay, here we go on the uh, second Avidine. I don't know why that's so flashy and bright there. OK, 
Okay, so now it's, we want to select all, and then we want to proceed. Now it's updating the uh, nav database. Now remember, I don't have the WAS antennas uh, hooked up yet, so some of this, um, some of the functionality probably won't work. I'm gonna probably work on that tomorrow when I'm feeling a little bit better. But uh, pretty cool. Bluetooth, map, okay all items completed with no error so we say done, the thing will reboot I can go ahead and pull this USB out. Alright, so I'll put the WAS antennas on probably tomorrow and uh, call it good. And it's as easy as that. So uh, I'm really impressed with the install, impressed with the functionality of the, uh, the Avidynes. You know, the Garmin 650, I, some of my friends fly them around here and they absolutely love them. And so I'm not denigrating the, the 650 at all, but for me and the type of flying I do, and it seems like I'm always flying in bumps and my iPad kills me trying to, uh, you know, trying to, you know, navigate through all the functions of Garmin Pilot and uh, the 796 kind of same way, you know. So uh, I like the buttonology on the uh, the Avidyne. I like the synthetic vision. I like the uh, uh, that it is touchscreen if if you do want to use it. Um, you know, I, I'm not saying it's a better box than a than a 650. The 650 is a great is a great Navcom. Uh, but the Avidyne is more of an of an FMS. It's it's more of a flight management system than 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 the Garmin. Um, but you know, teach their own, and and now I'm upgraded, and it was an easy, easy, easy upgrade. Avidyne's just you know they figured out how to do this, and and so uh, I'm gonna enjoy flying it, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Uh, pro probably wait till. Uh, after tomorrow, after I get the WAS antennas on, and hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better, um, and we'll do it then. So, if you like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, comment. Till next time.